You know, many of us have pets we love, and we would do anything in the world to keep them. <laughs> And one Lakeland woman says that her gator is no different than a dog or a cat. But fish and wildlife officials disagree with that, and now she is fighting to keep her Rambo. Alcides is live with the uh, gator and its owner this morning. Uh, it's a paperwork issue. It's the size of the gator. There's a lot going on here, right? There, there is a lot going on. Uh, originally, when she signed for permission, she wrote a different address. Um, a place that she used to work at. She is no longer there. Uh, and in retros uh, retrospect, she should have put this address down, and that would have prevented half of this. Uh, but there's a lot more to this story, as what we were just talking about a little while ago. Uh, Mary Thorne, thanks so much for being with us, uh, and Rambo as well. And I just, you know, I can't, I just cannot fathom what's going on right here. I mean, this gator is just. And he's, you were saying he's not sedated. I mean, this is this nope. is his routine. Yes, this is his routine. He's a big lap baby. <laughs> yeah. What's going on? Um, what do you need? What I need people to know is, you know, if you can help me out by letting the FWC know that I do want to keep him, that nobody's in harm, and that um, he needs to stay where he's used to because if not. Alligators are high stressed, and the stress level can kill him. And you, th he's a rescue gator, uh, and uh, he was taken. And you rescued him along with four other gators. Four mm -hmm. of those actually passed away for a variety of reasons, yes. including uh, a sun disease, right? And right. he actually has. He's allergic to the sun. Yes, if he gets out in the sun, he'll sunburn just like we do, but he can't regulate the heat, and he'll roll over and die. And the reason we're outside now is because it's partly cloudy. Now it's, it's important yes. to mention that, the humidity and the moisture and the whole deal. That's the only reason we can be outside with him. I just, how do you live with him? Because he stays in your house. Well, I live with him just like you would your kid. You know, you get used to things that your kids do. I get used to things that he does. Like if he wants to go to the bathroom, since he's potty trained, he'll come and he'll tap his nose on my leg, you know, and I'll pick him up and bring him out and let him go. I don't let him outside alone at all, you know, and he doesn't want to because it's too hot for him. So he stays in the house, he watches TV, he swims in his pool, he plays with the animals. You got an eight by eight foot pole, yes. a pool inside your house. Right, and it is inspected by the FWC every year. This is wild. So, you know, it's not something you see every day. What do you tell people, even on social media, because we were Facebooking this a little while ago live, and people were saying you're crazy. Other people were saying you're a beautiful woman for doing this. Um, a lot of people, after they get to know a story, are compassionate with it. Yeah. But there's a lot of people, you know, you just got to let them have their own opinions. You know, to me, it's, it's not about them. It's about him. Yeah. He, and like, about you, I got to tell you, because you're very attached to Rambo. And yes. You don't want to lose Rambo. I am very attached, but even if I am at a place yeah. and I see he's, he, you know, people are picking on him or he's getting a little restless, you know, I'll take him, I'll sit away from the people with him, get him calmed down, and then put him back out. He's raised thousands and thousands of dollars for charities. He's done pu more public service than I believe. Anybody, if you go in my house, it's all over the walls. I sit in the van, and there's papers of thank you, and and schools, and the fish, the fish and wildlife come get him to take him to schools and do their education with them, and everything else. Wild gators. Can't, obviously, you can't do anything. You can catch things from wild gators right. that make you sick, so they'd rather come get him. Uh, Mary, thank you, and I'm running out of time, unless I keep asking you questions. Uh, I'm just, you know. She said it treats him like family, like a child. She brushes Rambo's teeth once a day. He's pottied, and the next step at this point is she has to ask a judge for special permission to keep Rambo because he is over that four foot range and her property is less than two and a half acres. So she's going to ask the judge for special permission and hopes that he, uh, he or she uh, is lenient enough to, to allow that. Um, but I got to tell you, and so we've been here since 5:30 this morning, and um, uh, what what she's been able to do with this alligator is incredible, um, and uh, I, I've never seen anything like it. Back to you. All right, I'll see you. Thanks. Gator lives better than I do. All right, see you later, man. <laughs> that is a wild, wild story. You, I just I, there's got to be a reasonable way to fix this. 
I yeah, just, I, there's just got to be some other thing they can do to resolve this issue. I don't think they've ever come across this not. before, probably so they're not. probably scratching their heads like, what do we do? Uh, I got some fog 